all this information about a restaurant. You know, we have all these social media worthy pictures. We have all these things and these visuals that have absolutely no link to the food or the stories that go behind them. There's just so many amazing, cultural, diverse mashups that are going on in Los Angeles right now. I think the biggest thing is, is when you're cooking foods, especially even if you're gonna be doing mashups, it's extremely important to source foods that have to do with that culture. So I'm not gonna be getting Japanese perilla leaves when I'm cooking Korean food. When I was younger, I used to love to host, and you know, we just loved cooking, and there was a certain point where my friends started coming to my dinners, of course, and then thought something very interesting when your friends, friends, friends starting to want to come to your dinners, so the people that you don't really have any type of link with. We started this project with a big kind of need and, and a desire for a different food experience. Little Meats is basically a canvas for cooks, chefs, artisans to cook without apology and tell their story. You come, you hang out, you know, we, we sit around the couch, we get to know each other, we talk, and then we transition over to kind of almost like a sushi style bar setup. And it's about really letting the experts focus on what they're good at. We have a group of rotating chefs that come through and each one of the cooks and chefs, they all have different paths and different roads that they're taking. The first time I had met Chef Matt, I was like, oh, hey chef, and he's like, I'm not a chef. I don't own a restaurant, uh, it's not my kitchen. I'm a cook. He's using Little Meats LA as a creative outlet, because at the end of the day, he's an artist. So a lot of times, you know, you, you have this idea about like, you know, what grilling is. We associate it with just being protein, some type of meat. With the modern food movement, there's been so many new different types of ways of presenting, you know, grill marks on, on different types of foods. Once you start understanding how a grill works and how to maintain it, it's something that you can use every day. Something about the experience about people coming together, uh, cooking around a grill, it's very theatrical. I believe that there is a different way to experience the dining experience. It's extremely important to serve great dishes, but great dishes also come with a story. We want to know people's culinary identities and we want to know their journeys. And food is a quick, simple way to explain somebody's story.